and welcome to everyone on this call. Thanks ever so much for putting time aside to be here. The aims for the Zoom sessions are to let people know what is happening in existing campaigning groups working in the area and provide a place for cross fertilization of ideas and plans. We hope you will want to put your ideas into the pot and to work with the campaigns which we're showcasing. And we need to do that to build, to build back better. As Andy said earlier, questions should really be put in the chat. We'll try to get them answered during the breakout sessions or, or, or afterwards. One thing, of course, that's coming soon, uh, local elections are coming up. Uh, who's excited? Who's excited? I appreciate that not everyone at this Zoom event will be a Labour supporter, but I was delighted that at Labour Party conference in Brighton on, in, on the 24th September 2019, the Green New Deal was passed and I played a peripheral part in developing th th that, that policy. But what we need our leaders with enough gumption and vision to see that what the right thing is, they really need to be, have their ladder up on the correct wall and then to do it, to do everything in their power to reverse climate heating. They need to propose an encompassing set of policies, call it the Green New Deal, Green Industrial Revolution. It doesn't matter what you call it, but it has to include everything in a fair and just way to meet everyone's needs on this shared planet. To name drop, Noam Chomsky in 2019 said, the Green New Deal is exactly the right idea. And that is also Naomi Klein's take on the Green New Deal. And there's two eminent econo economists who've fully costed out the Green New Deal. There was Robert Polin and Anne Pettifer who have written extensively in loads of details about how this can be done. So we can put an end to using fossil fuels. Change of topic for, for buses this week, such a great initiative from Andy Burnham, Mayor of Manchester, for the city to take control of their buses. And that is surely a better solution than putting other franchises up, up for grabs. It could mean Sheffield might consider reverting back to provide free bus transport, or at least follow Manchester's example. So we've also heard during this week about the Tories having scrapped their one and a half billion scheme for helping with grants to help green homes. I mean, that's appalling that they've scrapped that, only gave six months. We've also heard from uh, Drax about their use of, of biomass. And they're trying to tell us that it will be carbon negative, really? Considering the total energy analysis from a tree in Canada to the end product of what they're proposing as carbon capture, it's hard for me to believe at least that that whole process could be carbon negative with all the energy that's gonna be used in pellet production, transport, and then feed into, the, into those furnaces at, at Drax. Never mind the amount of land used and then how long it takes for those trees to grow to harvestable stage. That's just about it from me for an introduction. We've now got Fran, who's going to give us her talk. Over to you, Fran. 